made all the way back home so casual unintentional way past mellow super relaxed not emotional one dimensional make it make sense Hey everyone, so I just got back in from getting my hair done. I also went and got a manicure and a pedicure. I just did Let's Be Friends by OPI um, for my pedicure and my manicure. I did do gel on both. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, so I had a nice little self-care morning. My hair appointment was at 7.15. This morning that my nail appointment was at 10 i was able to catch up on my law and order svu episodes that i had missed and it was just really nice it's just been a really nice relaxing day and so it is now 12 51 and i have so much to do i made a little list on my phone here because mom brain so i'm just like marking off everything i've done so Okay, marking off everything I've done so far. And you know, on day one of my hair, my curls are just tight and it's kind of like doing its own thing. Once I wrap it, she'll calm down once I wrap it, but she, she's, she's unruly on day one. So nail appointment done, hair appointment done. Um, okay, so everything else that I need to do is for PK's birthday because it's his birthday weekend. So I need to go and run a few errands to pick up the things that I want to get for him. I have started the tradition of getting him a pecan pie every year for his birthday. And when we first got together, he told me that his mom would make the best pecan pies. His grandmother who lived in Texas, she had like a pecan tree and she would send pecans from Texas to Illinois um, to his mom and she would make pecan pies for like holidays for like friends and different people and so he loves pecan pie. I have never attempted to make a pecan pie and I'm not quite ready to attempt that because I don't want to disappoint. So last year I got him one from Magnolia Bakery and he loved it. Loved it so much so that for Thanksgiving we got one. So he loves the Magnolia Bakery's pecan pies. The only thing is is that they are not in season right now so I have to like basically get it custom <laughs> ordered for him. So I got him a pie so I need to go pick that up. His mom is no longer with us and so I just took it upon myself to kind of make that a little birthday tradition for him. I don't know what it's like to not have my parents in my life. I'm so grateful to have both my mom and my dad in my life. And if you have your parents in your life, love on them, call them, tell them you love them every single day because I can't imagine my life without my parents. And so the fact that he doesn't have his parents in his life for his birthday, I like to make it special for him in a way that I feel his mom would make it for him and I feel like if his mom was here I, ne I never met her. PK was in college when she passed away. In my mind as a mom myself to boys I would make my son his favorite dessert whatever that is for his birthday every year and so I feel like that's something that his mom would do for him for his birthday just because he absolutely he talks about her pecan pies all the time even when he's eating other pecan pies he's like man I miss my mom's pecan pies so while I probably could never make the pecan pie that his mom made just being able to do something as simple as a buying a pie, it really makes his day and he's not expecting it this year. I did it last year because we talked about it, but this year is a total surprise. He doesn't know that I'm getting it for him. And so, so yeah, I'm excited about that. And yeah, so I'm gonna go get that. And because it's a pie, I'm like, do I do a candle? Because last year I didn't do a candle. But I'm like, maybe I'll get one of those little like happy birthday little 
stick things that you can just like put in the pie and just do like one candle i don't know i'll figure it out but i need to go to target and um i have one other stop to make to pick up his gift yeah i have target magnolia bakery and then i have to stop at the location to pick up his gift and yeah so that's what i got going on and i have to do all of that before we go to dinner uh this evening because we do have reservations at rpm steak for dinner for his birthday so that's exciting i'm hoping this video will go up before i leave the house that's that's the goal we'll see also but a package from crate and barrel that i'm gonna share with you do not know easter is one of my favorite holidays especially since becoming a mom but i can't even remember as a child loving easter uh i always loved christmas too but there is something about easter i don't know if it's the weather maybe it's because my birthday is always close to easter but i love easter and so i knew this year I wanted to get a head start on getting my boys Easter baskets stuff together because I really, if you guys have been here for a while, I tend to go all out for Easter for my boys with their Easter baskets. And so last year, I made the mistake of waiting too long to get this particular Easter basket. I even think I vlogged about it, how upset I was at myself for not being able to get these baskets that I wanted for them. And so this year, as soon as the ad popped up, I ordered them so quick let's open this box is so big here's one here's the other I got them the cutest oh, how cute are these y'all I'm oh, sorry how freaking cute so this is the one this is the original one this is the one that they've had for the past few years and last year like I said this is what I wanted to get for them and it was all sold out so I made sure to get it but how cute is the little bunny tail on the back so I got this one and then this is the newest one that they just released because I guess this one was so popular they decided to come out with another one it's this white washed one and he has a little bunny tail too but he's like white like it's wicker but it's like white washed i don't know if it's popping if it's coming up on there but these are the baskets now now that i have them i feel like i should have got them both this one but i think i'll give this one to pj and this one to Seth. I don't know. What do y'all think? Or should I exchange this one and just get them both? This one. I don't know. They're so cute though. I love this one. Like this is the first one that I picked. When I saw this, I, this is the one that I added to the cart first. And then I was like, oh, they still have this one. So I'll get this one. But how cute are these little bunny baskets so yeah i'm going to just live with those for a couple days and then i'll make a decision i like that they are large because that's the problem i run into with the easter baskets that i've gotten from pottery barn for the boys they have such a small opening at the top it's so hard to get everything in the basket and it just it just sucks and so i wanted to get something wider and that i could fit more stuff in like books and shoes and clothes and different stuff that i add to their easter basket so yeah this one has a more mature look that's why i figured this would be good for seth this has a like more like big boy mature look and this is like a a baby boy toddler look i don't know but i'll probably accessorize them a little bit too just to make them a little bit more personal for them maybe do something find something i could put their names on it and yeah but i love them oh okay i can't wait to call my mom sure 
how they look now that I got them. So yeah, that's what I got. I'm gonna be busy for the rest of the afternoon. So I probably won't come back and check in with you guys until it's time for me to get dressed and get ready. I'll probably show you guys what I'm wearing. Out to dinner, I still don't know what I'm wearing. Probably a dress of some sort. I don't know. I'm just gonna try on a few different things and see what what sticks. But let me go so I can get the rest of my afternoon going and I'll check back in with you guys later on today. All right, bye. Tell me what matters cause I don't know right then. No love is just a real farewell to friend. Tell me how long until you're gone again. Oh, 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 oh. Hello everyone. It is a new day today is Tuesday I've decided I woke up this morning I came here to make my coffee that I make before Seth and I head out to do school drop-off and I told myself I said when I come back home I am switching out my coffee station situation I don't know if you guys remember but when I first got this machine I had briefly mentioned possibly switching it to this cabinet here if you guys see like steam it's because I'm standing in front of the washer as it's going or you guys can probably see my dishes and everything else oh goodness okay let's see you guys may have remembered when I got that machine that I had mentioned that I wanted to put it on this storage cabinet and I just didn't I never got around to it and I just left it and this morning I was like, you know what? I'm switching it when I get back home. So I took everything off and I love it. I love it so much. I honestly did not think I was gonna like it on this cabinet versus on the counter. I also love that now we have more counter space here. So like I can prep food like next to the oven now. Whereas before I just, I could only prep food on the like island. Like my coffee has its own little area. I love it so, so much getting bright i did order a drawer organizer for all of my nespresso pods i think it'll be here later today or tomorrow um but i'll insert photos here somewhere um because it will be here before i upload this video so i'll show you guys how that looks but i want to organize the drawer really really nice i'm going to organize this drawer too this is our silverware drawer but i think i want to move the silverware over here now and then the stuff that's in that was in that cabinet i'm going to put it over here which is just like our sandwich bags foil uh parchment paper that type of stuff i think i want to like dedicate this drawer here to that stuff just because it's uh it's a bigger and a wider and a deeper drawer so yeah but I love this little setup I'll show you guys if I didn't show you at the beginning of this part I'll show it to you now but how cute let me move this cup I decided to put my uh, disposable cups on the go next to it I'm just using this little acrylic little container just so that you know I have easy access to it and like my syrup since it's there, my spoons, my coffee, uh, sommelier, oh coffee book. And then I did pick up some baby's breath from Whole Foods this morning when I went to the grocery store. And I love it. I love it so much. I think it looks so, so good. And then over here, I did get some croissants for the boys because they love croissants. I'm just gonna keep our fruit and little pastry little dish here and then i have all this space so i can like chop stuff and prep so so yeah and then this is all the same i'll even like upgrade these spoons and stuff at some point but the coffee station is is the star here like i love it so much so yeah so yeah guys that's my little update 
um, for my coffee station and I love it I, I keep staring at it and looking at it because it's just it's just so aesthetically pleasing to me and it's so simple so minimal it's like totally my style it's not too cluttered but yeah I made some frozen yogurt bark yesterday um, the thing about that is that you kind of got to let it sit out first before you start eating it because it's so hard it's I know y'all like girl it's just a cabinet with a coffee machine and some stuff on it but to me it just makes me so so happy I cannot wait for tomorrow morning to come and I'm making my coffee at this new station instead of over there Oh, I love it. So, anywho, I'm going to finish washing the fruit that I picked up today because I used the last of our fruit on this yogurt, frozen yogurt bark. So, I just picked up some more fresh fruit and I'm going to make me some tuna salad. I my tuna pack out here. Oh, and I picked up these. Um, picked up these little simple meal almond flour crackers I've never tried these but I'm gonna have these with my tuna try something different and the whole bag is 120 calories but I like that it just has all simple ingredients nothing like crazy like you can actually see the ingredients and pronounce them and oh this is distributed in Chicago so yeah I have that with my tuna and catch up on some TV I finished watching season one of Traders last night I already watched season two but I never watched season one so I like was binging that all weekend oh also this weekend thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes to PK and I'm so sorry a lot of you thought that it was my birthday no it's it was PK's birthday yesterday and we celebrated all weekend it was so nice he so deserves it and he absolutely loved the pie he was so surprised he had no idea that I was getting he walked in yesterday morning on his birthday he went and got a massage and uh, I blew up some balloons and I used the happy birthday plaque from <laughs> we went to uh, RPM steak and they brought him out this huge cotton candy display and it had a little happy birthday plaque on it so I took that little plaque and I used it in the pie I'll show you guys here I pop it up here but remember earlier I was saying like I, do I put a happy birthday something on here or a candle it was perfect it was so perfect so he loved it and yeah like there's literally not much pie left. Like, there's like a little slither left and I'll save that for him because I'll let him have that because I don't need any pie but so thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes yeah now today i gotta get back on track uh because i didn't work out this weekend and i didn't eat terrible i think i ate pretty good when we went out to eat i ate chicken and fish um didn't go too crazy but i can never resist bread at a table so i'm always going to eat the bread when it comes to the table <laughs> i did eat some some carbs oh i was saying I finished season one of Traders. It was so good. I'm so, gosh, I don't want to spoil it. If you guys, if you have not seen Traders and you want to watch it, skip past this part. I'm so happy Sari won finally. Oh my goodness. I was such a fan of hers on Big Brother. Now, I don't watch Survivor, but I know she's like an icon. So yeah, it was just nice to see her finally win something because she did not win Big Brother, but she was so close. Yeah, I love her. I love Rachel too from Big Brother. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have not watched Traders, check it out. It's such a good, a good show. It's like so dramatic, but I love like challenge shows. Like I was a huge challenge fan. Like when I think the challenge still comes on, I stopped watching it. Yeah, like CT is on season 
two of traders and I love CT I know he's he's a bit controversial but I love CT and yeah so I like challenge shows like that so if you like shows like that then you should watch traders um what else that's pretty much all I've been watching for real like I have not watched any housewives I'm like four or five episodes behind on housewives I've just been watching traders and keeping up with my law and order because I just I love law and order oh love is blind y'all the new episodes start tomorrow I can't wait because it there are some doozies this season one in particular um the Matthew guy trash I really liked him in the beginning but things took a turn uh ad i like ad a lot i feel so bad for her because the guy she is with i do not think it's going to work he is such a narcissist and he's just so sassy um yeah i i don't see them lasting at all i feel like they're gonna like butt heads a lot uh who else jimmy 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 got what he deserved because when that girl told him that she looked like well she didn't say she looked like she she's a flight attendant and she said sometimes people on her flights say that she looks like Megan Fox now I do see some resemblance in her eyes maybe the dark hair but that's a hard comparison because Megan Fox is known for her sex appeal and her body which this girl does not have and he chose this girl based on that and the girl that he passed up on is Megan Fox material which by the way she has a child which I don't think they've ever had anyone on the show that has kids but she has a 10 year old and I think she's only like 27 but she had her daughter when she was really young and I really thought they were going to end up with each other because they were really vibing but that girl mentioned does she look like Megan Fox and that boy was like oh i'm picking her and it's been so awkward ever since they met they are on their honeymoon right now it's so awkward he is flirting with ad the black girl that's got body yaddy yaddy um he's made little comments about how she looks how, how nice her body is being really disrespectful to his new fiance so yeah jimmy i'm not a fan of jimmy's at all so yeah are you guys watching love is blind uh let me know your thoughts on this new season because whew, it is a lot and yeah i don't know but anywho let me eat before i pass out and i'll probably check back in with you guys a little bit later all right we are headed to get set from school I brought my coffee I brought snacks. PJ has his little snack pack. I brought seven croissant and a juice pouch. And what else? Oh, orange. Orange. So that'll be his snack. All right, guys, we are back home now, and I am getting ready to get dinner going. I am having a meatless dinner tonight. I am only having sweet potato and broccolini. Everyone else is doing Chinese for dinner. I can't have any Chinese because I have goals. So yeah, I'm just gonna prep the sweet potatoes for the oven. I've already preheated the oven to 400 and I just wash them really good with the, um, with this little like potato scrubber and I poke holes all around and then I wrap it in foil, throw it in the oven, bake it for about 30 minutes or less. It just depends on your oven. And voila. So, and then I'll just make these on the stove. Just saute them on the stove, it's so good. This is like my favorite combination, like broccoli and sweet potatoes or any type of green vegetable what? with sweet potatoes is so good that's why i love the sweet green um harvest bowl it's so good touch, hi. Touch. yeah touch. Touch. no no touch. touch no 
no touch but yeah that is what i am about to do and i'll show you guys my dinner once it's done it's gonna be super simple but so i'm gonna do that and then i'll show you guys my food when it's up all right Unintentional, way past mellow, super relaxed, not emotional, one dimensional. Make it make sense. Hello, everyone. Today is Thursday, and I am just getting ready for the day. It is. 11:31, so I just got out the shower. I'm dressed. I'm just wearing this little skims set that I got a while ago. I'm probably just gonna throw a cardigan on or a jacket over it when it's time for me to head out. But I need to unwrap my hair because my hair has just been wrapped. After I work out, I like to let my roots dry, which they are actually they weren't that bad. I didn't sweat that much this morning when I ran because I did like a run walk on the Peloton app so it wasn't as like intense but you can see like right like right here it's starting to like you can see <laughs> where it's starting to kind of like revert back but I just brush it and give it a little tuck behind my ear and it'll be fine. I don't ever put heat on my hair aside from when my stylist puts heat on my hair just because I don't, I don't like doing that because I really don't know what I be doing. So I don't want to be taking no chances. So yeah, I'm just about to fix me something to eat, make me a lunch. I saw this recipe on, I follow the queen ship on Instagram. She does like a lot of like coffee content. And I think she might even be like a food photographer, but she had something on her, I remember a while ago she had, I'll pull it up for you guys. She had made these like uh, bunless BLTs with everything but the bagel seasoning and they looked so 
so good and I think at the time when I saw it maybe I didn't have eggs but okay yeah we just got to since that little part right there is tripping we just gonna have to keep that tucked okay but yeah so she had um posted it and I was like oh my god I want to make that and at the time I think I didn't have eggs or something I don't know why I never made it but I was like oh I'm making that so yesterday I boiled the eggs and just put them in the refrigerator for today because I didn't want to make it yesterday I wanted to make it today and I am so excited because I think it's gonna be so good and I have all of the ingredients. Let me show you guys real quick. The, yeah, she has, I, she's gotta be a food. Um, it doesn't say in her bio. Oh, she is a photographer, but she does a lot of good like coffee photography and like food photography. I love looking at her. pictures because they're just so good where is that egg recipe i could probably find it on, oh here it is uh, oh yeah okay she did a real can y'all see hold on let me play it again big introduction of hanai sayan and it's a fun big introduction of hanai sayan and it's a fun big introduction of hanai sayan and it's a fun big introduction so that's what we're gonna make. Whoa, why is this so yellow? Okay, so that's what we're gonna make for lunch. I'm so excited. And I hope I like it. Like, I love hard boiled eggs. I love eggs in general, so I think I will like it. And I'm using turkey bacon instead of regular bacon. And I did have to go out and buy tomato yesterday because I don't eat, I like tomatoes. I just don't eat tomatoes like that just because tomatoes cause inflammation. And so I try to avoid like eating tomatoes a lot and so I really only buy tomatoes for the house on an as-need basis. So anywho, we're going to make some bunless BLTs with everything but the bagel seasoning. Oh, I did want to put some of this um, Dior hair mist in the hair. use the last of our um, dip tea candle so I want to go and repurchase it but we'll have to see so yeah we'll probably go to Nordstrom later on this afternoon but let's get in here and make these BLTs all right let's go in the kitchen I just made <laughs> the BLT hard boiled eggs and I'm going to try them now. I guess I just leave it on here. This would be so cute for like a like an event, like a baby shower or like a wedding shower type thing. Or just like a little gathering. These would be perfect. So let's see. Mmm. So good, kind of fell apart. It's so good, like you really don't even miss the bread. Mm. 
10 out of 10. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating and I'll come back. <laughs> okay, y'all, I am back. I did make it to Nordstrom to pick up the candle. Um, and the sales associate gave me some samples. He was so nice. What is this? I don't know what these things are. I cannot pronounce them, but Olean is one of them. It smells good. It smells like something for a man though. Oud Myth. Oud Myth is the name of this one. Whoa. Whoa. Now this one, yeah, this one is definitely gotta be for a man. Ooh, that smells good. Wow. Okay. I'll give this to PK. So he gave me two of those. And he also gave me some little mini hand and body lotions. Cute. The candle. So, this is the one that we usually get, the Canel. But I thought I would switch it up and get the famous Bay. And that's how he pronounced it. So, that's how I'm pronouncing it. I don't know if that's correct. But he seemed like he knows what he's talking about. So, um, yeah, he called it Bay. So, that's the one that I got. Never owned this one before, but we've had several of the canal just because it smells so good. But it's not really that popular. So, yeah, got that. And then I stopped at Target and got some new trays because the tray that I was using for our candles is now on my new coffee bar. So I picked up this one is so heavy it's by casa luna and i like this one because it's square and it's wide so i can fit like multiple candles or i can do like i put like you know a little flower arrangement or something on there so oh my god this is so heavy <laughs> so yeah i got that and this was only twenty dollars i'll link it i've gotten asked in the past where i get like the trays that you guys see from and they're from target but here's the thing you have to go in the bathroom section they are in the section where like all the bathroom like hand soap dispensers soap dishes that's where i get all the trays from and they are so affordable now i know sometimes like in the home decor sections you can find little trays but every tray that i've ever purchased or any tray that I have is usually from the kitchen or um, bathroom section. So this is actually <laughs> from the bathroom line um, at Target uh, by Casa Luna. So I got that. I'll link it for you guys. And then I also got this cute little soap dish <laughs> that I am going to use as my little jewelry dish on the bathroom sink um, or you can use this on the bedside too but I just thought this was cute and I have some little jewelry out now so I just thought it would be cute to just have this would be perfect for like when I take my earrings off at night because like I don't have like a jewelry box I have like this little tower that I use for jewelry but I use that for like store my jewelry in I don't have anything for like my everyday jewelry so i thought this would be cute to just put on the uh, vanity sink area so that i can just have a place because right now i just be throwing earrings here there everywhere i've lost a few pieces to the sink down the drain because i just put stuff on the counter and forget about it pj comes in knocks stuff over so so yeah, I like this. It's cute. And yeah, it's like, I think these are marble too. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, genuine marble. And this is also by the Castellona. So this 
and this are actually a set. They also have like a um, they have like a jar with a lid. I think they may have a toothbrush holder. It's like a whole line, but I just got these two little trays. Yeah, so we got our new candle and that was it. So I am going to go ahead and go so I can finish off the rest of our day. I'll catch you guys later.